Hi, YouTube. I hope you're all doing good. I'm not having too bad of a day. Um, I got a lot of stuff done yesterday, and um, I might be taking a break today. My arm is still bothering me, but yeah, it's uh, uh, injuries and old age do not go together. We just don't heal as quickly as we do when we're young. Geez, the days when I thought I was infallible, I'd be like walking on my hands or doing, I could do like nine backflips and then I'd get dizzy. If I did more than nine, I'd fall like on the 10th one because I just, my, my, I have vertigo pretty bad. So that probably wasn't the best tricks to be doing, but I do know that I could do nine of them without, um, suffering the consequences, you know, but I wouldn't even try one right now. I might if I had like both my kids, if they were in a good mood and wouldn't drop me. If I had both my kids to spot me or something, I'd do some gymnastics or I saw this really cool workout thing. It was uh, like a bungee, like a rubber band and they put you in this harness and you could like run and you go swinging and then you'd come back and you could do like different exercises. Oh, I would love that thing. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? I think. <laughs> I like trampolines too, but I'd have to be really careful so I didn't kill myself, you know, because I used to, um, like, oh, jump up once and then come back down and, um, uh, like seated and then come back up and flip and do all kinds of stuff. But I wouldn't probably be doing no flips on there, I don't think. <laughs> no, no. So, you know, it does, life has its consequences, you know. But shit, the days that I like fly 30 feet in the air and think nothing of it, you know. <laughs> no. If I was 30 feet in the air, I would think I would die on the way down. It'd be like, okay, just, okay, give up the ghost, <laughs> you know. So, I saw some really interesting, well, it was um, documented proof on how the Trinity are actually three different entities that work together. They are not the same, although they come from God, it is of God, but they are separate. But, you know, a lot of times I can, even if you see a, a ancient documented something doesn't actually mean that it's true or that any of us can prove that. And that's sort of the topic of, of today is who I watch and, and a lot of times even how big their channel is and how did they get that big and are they Masonic affiliated because you can sound like the nicest person in the world and be working for the agendas that are going on in this world and the people that I speak against out on this YouTube platform in particular, I know who they are. I know their spirit. I can sense it. I just don't figure why other people can't. And if they do, um, how do you decipher what they're saying if their ulterior motive is to make you believe something that isn't true? And to pass on that information. See, that's that's where that's where I get pissed. That's where I don't really... Um, for instance, I'm going to introduce Doug to Jonathan Kleck. I do want his input on this situation because, uh, the connection through the satanic, uh, mindset, I, I have a feeling Doug's going to help me with this situation here. I'm thinking about making, uh, um, 
like once a week or once a month a video that will be called um, what's on your mind with Doug Weeks I think you'll be surprised um, what is on that mind <laughs> so um, I asked him this morning if I can do that and he sounded pretty happy about it. He has a friend named, Con we have a friend, Konstantin and his wife from Russia, and he commented that he um, appreciated Doug's thoughtful words last time I had him on here. And um, I know a lot of younger people would like to hear older people sticking up for them on this helter skelter type planet that we're we're engaged upon you know so yeah just a moment <laughs> so. no i can't do this by myself so i've got to have help and and if somebody doesn't want to see i mean Satan know, knows stuff ahead of time and has um, put things before us in our lives um, just like God knows because that's, that's a connection that they have, God and Satan. God knows Satan. So um, things aren't a coincidence at all. And I feel compelled to get his opinion. I'm going to have Doug listen to a few Cluck videos in particular and get his opinion on that because I think it's very important. Maybe not for the person that I'm thinking of that is being deceived because he can determine what's right for him in his life but when it affects other people then I got an issue with it and you know I'll take care of it <laughs> I'll take care of it by myself so if people can't see that this is a bunch of bullshit that's being talked about it's not that like with Jonathan showing the um how how things are exploding or flooding or whatever on the uh, American d bills like money. Um, those type of things like how you fold them and you'll see certain things. Well, duh, he's a baby mason. You don't think he knows those things? Of course he does. All this was written ahead of time to deceive the people and to um, make us to sway our better judgment into another area where it shouldn't even be, such as promoting the Baphomet from the Vatican, whether or not um, people that listen to it take stock in it like that, or if you can actually define what a man or a woman is and how God made us, well, then I guess you'll understand that there is a difference between the male and female on this planet. Unless if I were a female that was listening to the satanic spirit, I would not act very womanly. And I'm not talking in the sexual sense. I'm talking about right here, right here, what's in my heart, um, which, which constitutes who the person's um, master is who I serve it's just like a man that follows God is a lot different than a man that follows Satan they can appear to be nice but are they really you know so I don't know I don't have a beef with anybody right now in a big way but that's not saying that I won't have. I'll just see how this plays out because I'll tell you what. Now, here, here is a for instance. 
If my oldest granddaughter got a hold of one of these funky videos with people telling them that they're hybrid lizards that can give birth to their own offspring without any male-female interaction, something like that falls on those little ears, I'm going to want to do something physical to people. Oh, I, got, I started shaking. Woo! Just the thought of that. Ooh, and I got all granddaughters. Well, I got step grandsons too, but um, they're they're pretty well rounded. Pretty well. They have some. Everybody's got their issues on this planet, but the little people and the young people on this planet don't need any extra added bullshit. You know, the simple life is it is it so so hideous? For people to think of what is logical and natural and bio, biologically, scientifically sound, that that isn't enough of a miracle for you, that you have to um, go along with the Masonic um, implementation of the Baphomet type of creature to make you feel like what, that you're more of God because you think you know something that other people don't know naturally? That's the part that bothers me. What's falling on the little people's ears and who's saying it and why? That's that's where I get involved right there. And I don't give a about the why. I don't care why you're doing it or saying it could care less. I just wonder why you don't know it's bullshit, and I wonder why you don't know who's telling you it. That's where I'm at with that one. <laughs> so, And like some people say, I'm not out to convince anybody. What I'm saying either rings true with you as reality, or it doesn't, you know? So, anyway. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>
and even though there's another room and I turned it into a laundry room, um, then I would get interrupted if somebody wanted to bring something into the laundry room. So it's like, no, I'm going to make one room that's specifically just mine that I can close the door if I want to close the door, you know, which doesn't always help. But things have gotten a little better. They really have. About a month now. So a little bit of nonsense about a week ago, but it wasn't extreme. Like if you, uh, I can't even, I can't even explain. Well, I'll tell you what. No, I won't. No, I won't. I was gonna say, if if I like sick dug on your ass, what that would feel like to be on the wrong side of that energy. But I'm not going to encourage anybody to do anything, but I am going to show people my concerns in life so I can get some help with that. Yeah. If I get cut off, I love you all and I'm sorry. Um, I've still got some setting up to do. My room's still helter-skelter. I can't put things the way I want them right now. We're set things up. So um, even I'm not taking time to do things with other electronics that I've got because I want to be set up where they need to be before I pull them out. I've got some newer stuff to set up, but just not right now. It'll be a while. I don't know. I'll say next winter somewhere in between now and next winter <laughs> so that gives me all kinds of time <laughs> that's like uh i used to have a problem telling people no you know if they wanted some of my time or whatever but i've gotten better at that and it is more comfortable because i don't feel pressured to do things you know like I used to do to myself, oh, sure, I'll do that, or I'll help you with that, or whatever. And then after I did it, I'd feel good about doing it, but I still put myself in a position where it took more out of me than um, benefiting me. I mean, I don't mind benefiting somebody else. I just don't want to have die doing it to help somebody else, you know. That you have to be careful of when you get a little older. You really do need to become more self-centered. If you never were, you really do. And if you've always been self-centered, you better stop it. <laughs> you know, because it's not all about just one of us, you know. I think everybody in the world um, encounters synchronicities that God or Satan put before us um, that maybe we don't recognize. We'll see them as like deja vu or gee, this has happened before or gee, that happened at the same time as this. That was odd. I think a lot of people don't recognize that in their life and it happens all the time on a daily basis to all of us, you know. It's just who actually recognizes that your life is orchestrated, you know. Yeah, you have free will. So either direction you go, you're going to encounter this orchestration because one conductor made it or the other one did or both of them, you know. That's my synopsis on that, you know. Yeah, I, I'm going to try and get Doug interested in stopping the baby masons that are um, not just the big people out in the public, like the public officials and all that stuff. He's pretty, um, pretty in tune with and pretty knowledgeable about the world affairs. And that type of thing. But we 
channels that are putting out disinformation for the dark cabal. That's, uh, that's my concern. I don't care who says, hey, I've got no heart, when they're saying something that's absolutely biologically untrue on this planet, and they're teaching it as a fact. Right out of the Vatican, when you're believing that who God put as dominion on this planet, the overseers of this planet, a male and a female, not together, and then say like there's twin female system, I'll stick it up your for real. Because that's where it came. We put it where, back where it belongs. You know? It's not Satan that has dominion over this earth or his female counterpart. It's the blood of Adam and Eve that um, I, I am out to prove that um, the first man and woman that were placed on this planet did not do any dirty deeds towards God. And they've been painted like they did. And here's another thing. I find it very, very interesting, the people that read scriptures that would rather follow Judaism, which is Jewish, you would rather read through the scriptures in Hebrew than you would uh, English interpretation in a Christian manner. Why is everybody teaching Judaism? Why are Christians teaching people how to be Jewish? Why are you following the Jewish holidays and all that? I wonder, because it's not Christian. Why the mixture of those? And yes, but, okay, there's, there's, um, the people of Abraham, and there's the Canaanites. They separated, and there was a reason for that separation, you know? And there still is. That's what it is. One's satanic, and the others aren't, you know? Yeah, can we lo love those that are following Satan? Yeah, we can pray for them. We sure can. But to promote their work, there is uh, something, something that I'm going to have to prove, I guess, on my own and show why this isn't really a good thing. You know, I'm not saying, like I said, that there won't be synchronicities or things that ring true and that type of thing, because there would be. And it wouldn't even be that um, somebody doesn't believe in God if they're teaching that type of thing. But what God are they believing in? You know, Because if you're going to lead somebody wrong and it falls on little kids' ears, you're working for Satan. If you're not teaching what a grandma is going to teach her granddaughter or grandson, the logical truth about biology of human beings, if you're not teaching traditional human ways, you're teaching from the creature side of the situation that follows the flesh. And God can't be described in a fleshly way. And that's just what they're trying to do. They're trying to prove that the God in mankind is the two separate beings of male and female. In our minds, not in our bodies physically. You have like, like the good angel, the bad angel, who you listen to, who you feed, who your master is. Not the combination of them both. It's not the coming together. It's the separation. 
separating yourself from the not just the earthly pleasures because yeah we can have pleasures on this planet and still believe in god that has nothing nothing to do with it that's just more false teachings to make you feel bad about being a human being that's just more of their faulty leadership you know I, I've been praying about it. It's like, you know, instead of getting pissed off like I used to, it's like, well, I'm going to try a different approach. I'm going to try a friendly type of approach. And I did. I made a video to Jonathan Cluck about five years ago asking him to um, tell the truth, stop the lies. And he still has not. He still insists. You know, right side up, upside down, as above, so below. No, that's as above, so below. So you're not thinking with your, you know, that's what that means. And it can mean in as bringing heaven down to earth too, but heaven's still in your mind, so is hell. This is not a physical war that we're fighting. It's a spiritual war, you know. But when they mix the physical with the retarded, um, ethereal, Masonic, leading people wrong to keep them on that fleshly level and to uh, induce thoughts in you and your actions and everything you do in your day, if you're basing on what you're listening to, that isn't true. Maybe it's true for you. I don't know. Maybe you actually are half woman and half man, and that's who you really, really deep inside your soul believe who you are. If you really, really believe that, you are emotionally unstable, and I would seek help immediately from your nearest um, psychologist or perhaps a minister that you trust. Maybe even me, if you trust me. What I'm telling you is the truth. From everything that they showed me, what they were going to do to people and have been doing for hundreds of years, well, then maybe you believe what I'm telling you. But I'm still going to um, get some help on this situation because I'm getting sick of it. I tried being nice about it, and that's not working too good for me. And I'm still listening to it because I'm people. I heard Robin's Hood ask, why are you listening to me? Or why are people still listening to me? Because you're carrying a part of my father's spirit, and I can tell. And I'm wondering what you're doing with it. And why would you want to know? Um, since I carry part of that too, why why would people listen to you? Why wouldn't we? You know, but what are you going to be saying in the future on behalf of these people that we have to teach to help them out, to help their souls so they're not in pain and don't feel fucking crazy? What do we do? How do we go about this? So these are my concerns. They're real concerns. You know, there's a lot of mixed up young people on this planet that really, actually, everybody just wants attention. But what? why are we seeking attention? Is it something personal? Is it, is it God-driven? You know, does God drive you to open your mouth and talk? But you can pretend that you don't want to have friends, but don't we all? Don't we really? Isn't that? Or or is it just to make money? You know, I don't know. I don't. I can't tell you exactly what's in another person's heart. Although I already know, I could tell you, but that wouldn't be very right 